A lot of uh, a lot of people's business models, their remuneration models, have been been have been uh, furnished to allow one particular piece of uh, revenue come in, and another one come in over there, another one, and everyone operates in silos. The customer doesn't need that anymore. They want an integrated solution that works with one button, one login, and allow them to do everything at the same time. One way is what I previously just said. That they are looking for one integrated solution, one one bill, one login. A mobile way of a mobile, mobile way of working and collaborating, not for everyone, but at least for the majority of people, they want a lot more flexibility. They want a good user interface, uh, and finally, they, they really want to have um, a joined-up system. So they are looking for these new ways, and they've seen that, that collaboration and voice is, is not core to their business. Whereas traditionally, they may have bought it, run it, have people in the business that help run that within the company. Uh, they don't want to own it anymore. They want to have that delivered as a service. And if you look at the stats in the top applications that were moved to a cloud, collaboration is in the top four. It has been for a while. The HCS is not actually a customer brand. It's actually more aimed at our partners. It's a solution that allows our partners to develop a cloud-based collaboration platform and deliver that to our customers with added services simultaneously. HCS stands for Hosted Collaboration Solution. And fundamentally, it is Cisco's, all of Cisco's collaboration components put into a shared architecture, into a shared infrastructure model that allows them, the partner, to sell to a client in a, in a very flexible way with regards to licensing, uh, utilization of resources, etc., etc. And, and the customer simply pays for a pay as you go model per user, per seat, per month for all services that are wrapped up, whether it be from Cisco or from the partner as well. It enables users to do things quicker and allow them to use all of those features in collaboration when they want to. Whereas in the past, typical cycles, you go from RFP, day one, buy a solution, perhaps in a year's time, they'll review what's next, what else they can do, and I'll put another RFP out. In HCS terms, you're gonna click, you wanna buy, you wanna increase the capacity, you wanna add another application to it, another user, you just subscribe to it. It allows a significant more flexibility. It allows moving from capex to opex, and it allows the customer to really innovate what they do. And they're always on an evergreen platform, so they're always going to have the best iteration of Cisco's op options on this platform when they need it. It's been around for quite a while. It's, it's actually very, very heavily used in, in industry. We are the leading brand in unified comms across the board, and in terms of cloud-delivered unified communications, we are still the leading brand. It's very heavily accepted, it's very well engineered. Is there one USP? No, there isn't, there's many. Customers go to Cisco because they know it will work. And they know it works very, very well. And not only are we investing heavy amounts of R&D money into making it even better, we're making sure the foundations of the collaboration software actually works together and in, a, in an SLA fashion, and not just in the best endeavors, all that will do. It has to work in an enterprise fashion. Effectively, if you look at it from a CFO's point of view, you're, you're marrying up IT spend with the dynamics of the business. If you have a very changing organisation, you are going to get better productivity out or, or, or guess a, a return for your investment when you need it. But actually, when it comes down to return of uh, investment in terms of collaboration tool sets, as I mentioned before, and there's many examples where we've used HCS and another service as well, uh, delivered by Cisco or a partner, which allows a company to trial something. Uh, whether it be video, a contact centre, whether it be using Spark for example, to actually trial out a new way of working for a department or a particular part of the business. And it's a low risk, easy to spin up and spin down um, operational opportunity for a company of any size or any sort of in industry to trial something different that works, they explode and they go faster. So really what you're, what you're looking at is, is an ability to get better decisions made, quicker trials, testing, get it into the business. If it works, switch it on and make it go faster. Security is, is part of the, the actual design of the platform from the very beginning. Um, if you look at a raw level, I mean, Cisco's collaboration platforms encrypt data streams from end to end, endpoint to endpoint. Um, but when you look at HCS, for example, what we do is design it so it's containerized, completely container between each customer. Applications are unique per customer and they are on each secure VMs on every single, every single time. 
In some examples, customers want absolute security. They want it on their own premises. They want it on their own uh, data center kit, but they don't want to manage the platform in any way, shape or form. They want somebody else to do that for them. And that's absolutely possible as well. And we, the, the whole deployment of this platform is, is entirely flexible, whether it's a hosted one and a shared infrastructure from a partner like yourself, like Node4, or a customer says, I want this operating model. I want you to manage it for me, but I want it in, on my premises because I need it in this you know, ring, of, ring of fire around me. That's exactly what I want. Um, but either option is entirely up to you. But the, the security element is absolutely baked into this, into this platform. And if you ever want to go into it, we can go into another session, give you some security recommendations that are, are part of the design. Every HCS partner we deal with has to build this in a, in a, in a way that we deem correct and has been tested. Uh, to make sure it's secure and provides an SLA. Node 4 are brilliant at what they do. Uh, they're very, very uh, adept at delivering cloud services, incredibly good at um, understanding how Cisco works and Cisco's technology, and you've got a heritage and you see with Cisco as well. And clearly you've dealt, you, you're selling other platforms and other vendors, you have an agnostic approach, but you've got a lot of experience and you've got a lot of good know-how how to deliver a really good service to a customer. I think we'd be fools to say we chose you uh, over you chose us. I think it's a very much a mutual relationship that works exceptionally well. And I'm really pleased that you're on this journey with HCS and, and hosted collaboration because it, it shows the customer your commitment to us and actually it will, it will, you'll see the commitment from Cisco as well. As I mentioned before, I, I believe it's, it's your absolute brilliance at delivering cloud services in a personalized ways to, 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 in personalized ways to the customer. I think HCS is part of your overall portfolio in terms of delivering cloud services to a client. I think what I've seen of you is that you're really intimate and very, and very um, careful with your clients to understand what value that you can bring to them and that they get value from it. So I think it's not necessarily about the platform, Cisco being part of it. I think it's the way you treat your customers and how you build your, your systems to make sure that they get value from it uh, every single time. Firecoms is a big consolidating market. And consolidating in a way is that we've all got loads of tools, mobile, apps, devices, etc., etc., et cetera, web, uh, video conferencing. And really, what I was mentioned before is that as a user, we all want these things to work together. And actually, at Cisco, we're quite, we're quite privileged. We do have all these things working seamlessly together on any device, anywhere. And actually, when I've been in industries outside of this, it's quite different. And, but this is what the customer and users expect. This is how you attract better staff. This is how you retain people. This is how you get a better customer experience. This is how you improve business process. So the future of UC is integrating web, video channels, uh, applications together, and delivering better value. There's a good example in the oil and gas industry. You know, there will be an analog process around for a, a sensor going off on a rig, for example, if there's an issue, how do they collate all the right expertise to come in and fix a problem? Email, telephone calls, you know, and a half an hour, half a day later, you might have all the expertise in the room. With the advent of Spark, for example, that IoT device can trigger an event in a Spark room, invite people to a WebEx, SMS, call people immediately, and create a data stream in one digital place to allow a issue to be addressed, everyone to collaborate together immediately and actually become a solution within minutes as opposed to half a day, purely down to, down to, down to the reasons of communication challenges. Information's there, present it well, and people can come on board.